Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, Season 5, Episode 4, Silicon Avatar. Oh, this episode was rough, but not rough in like a bad way, like, oh, it's so boring. No, this, this episode was just rough in general. It's a very emotional, very difficult episode to watch. So the crystalline entity uh, from Data Lore has returned. So just a little bit of a recap. There, the planet that Sung created Lore and Data and presumably B4 on was destroyed by a crystalline entity, an alien species that it turns out was working with Lore. And since then it's kind of gone out on its own. And now a doctor has come aboard and is trying to research it. Riker and Data are on a planet basically helping some settlers and the planet gets attacked by the crystalline entity. They manage to get them into the caves and save everybody except for a couple people. Of course Riker's love interest. And afterwards this doctor comes aboard amazed that they're survivors because in 11 recorded attacks there's never been a survivor before. But she she has a negative response towards Data. It turns out that her 16-year-old son was on the, pl the first planet with Lore and Sung when the Crystalline Entity attacked. So she kind of blames Data. Well, it turns out that Data has all of the journals, some of the memories, the voice patterns, etc. programmed into him. And then after she, she finds that out... She almost falls in love with Data and she starts referring to Data as her son, Remy, because he can uh, record, he can look back on Remy's journal entries and speak in his voice, which I think this is now the third time we've seen Data use that mimicking ability. We saw it in the pilot where he did Q's voice and then the other episode that we saw Lore, the, the brothers, where he uses Picard's voice. So it's just kind of an interesting little thing. And so now she's almost thinking of Data as her son. And it's really sad. The The most gut-wrenching part of this episode, we finally get to the end, and we've finally come up to the Crystalline Entity, and Picard is finding a way to speak to it. Like, it's done horrible atrocities and killed millions, if not billions, of people. And Picard has said, like look at the the humpback whale and how many cuttlefish it kills this crystalline entity is feeding like it's doing its thing it doesn't necessarily realize what's right or wrong and of course he's he's comparing human beings us to cuttlefish and the doctor's like no but it is what it is like this crystalline entity does what it's programmed or what its natural desires are right or wrong and so Picard is trying to reach it, on, speak to it, and say, hey, this is what you're doing. But before he can, the doctor kills it. And as she's shattering the crystalline entity, she's talking to, to Data, saying, this is for you, Remy, this is for you. And Picard, which we've seen in previous episodes where unique life forms have been killed, just takes this to heart, and he's just heartbroken that even though it's done all of these terrible things, he has killed, or he's been a part of the death of this unique species. So it's, it's really interesting. And then we finally get to the end where she's, she asks Data one more time, will you talk to me in his voice? Will you let me know that he understands I did it for him? And Data says no. And he, he explains to her that he has Remy's journal entries and his kind of personality traits and that Remy supported her as a doctor, as a scientist, and he encouraged her in her career. And what she did went against what she knows and ruined her career. And he says, I, I don't think your son would be happy. I think your son would be sad for you right now. And you can see her realization, and it's just heartbreaking. This is such a sad episode. But it's an important episode. Because, like, Star Trek has kind of said over again, and, like, for Batman fans or something, like, there's revenge, and then there's not. There, like, there's vengeance. And she wasn't out there to stop this entity from killing people, she was out there to get revenge for her son. 
and in doing so, tarnished the way her son would have viewed her. It's it's a very sad episode. Uh, for those who have seen this one, what did you guys think? Did you guys like seeing the crystalline entity return from previous episodes? Would you have wanted to see it again? Go ahead, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about this revenge type aspect? Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next time for Disaster.